up on the mic real quick and explain the setup that I called out today in the chat. I'm not sure if anyone took it, but I certainly saw it happen, which was awesome. Uh, today was a five-minute wedge forming um, on Apple, and it was a inside a massive weekly demand zone. So we're just going to draw a um, green box here and pop that thing behind. So that way, send to back. That way, oh, it didn't really do much, but you get the idea. Um, so you, you get the idea that this is all in a demand zone here. And pretty much what happened was we were I saw that we were forming this nice wedge in this weekly demand zone. And I was watching it pretty much the entire time from 1 o'clock, really, 1.30ish, when I saw it you know, reject again. It come back down at 2 o'clock, and then I was really looking at around 2.15. Maybe we're going to get a pop here, and we said, nope. So we're going to come back down, and you know, it literally waited till the last portion of the wedge here to pop. Um, and one thing that's important here is all that I'm looking at here is volume and price. Um, do not pay attention to these um, SMAs as they are irrelevant. I didn't even have these on the chart at the time. I was doing some other stuff, just forgot to remove them. But the most important thing is the volume. So if we're going to go in here and take a quick look, um, you can see that volume kind of increased out of this wedge. I was really looking for volume to pop out of the wedge. As you can see here on this candle, um, you know, nothing really came of this candle here. Uh, it was this volume bar. And it's pretty weak. But if you look at the volume bar that popped out of the wedge, this was your entry candle here. This is the volume candle. And then this was the handle that you could have taken long on with a stop below the wedge. Very st uh, tight stop, 20 cent stop for a massive move. And the contracts moved over 100%. Um, so it was a very, very nice, beautiful trade. This is textbook setup here, a pattern forming inside a demand zone. Can't get much prettier than this. Um, there was volume increasing throughout um, the squeeze. As you can see, these last couple things, you know, maybe we're going to break to the downside. But... We had all the probabilities because we were in a demand zone that this thing was going to push up further. So this would have been a great trade. Um, we'll look at it from the five minute. Um, the one minute has been working more often than, um, than not. So let's see if we look at it from the five minute here. You're going to see it a little bit more clearer. So now you can see the wedge a little bit clearer now. And you can kind of see the pop here. That volume increased after the wedge, which means briars were present. This is completely a bull move here. Um, you can see that this was a pure bull candle, which signified that buyers were in control here. You know, yes, this was a pretty uh, bearish candle, but, you know, price couldn't really move down after that. And the most important thing is you could have gotten long on any of these candles with a target of 130. That was the uh, original target. Um, pop out of the wedge for a nice quick scalp to 130, and it worked out beautifully. As you can see, volume just kept increasing until 130, and obviously the last two candles of the day always have increasing volume. So a very nice trade. All you need is price and volume. Just recognize this pattern, very textbook play. In a demand zone, volume increased as we popped from the wedge, and you could have taken it as soon as we popped out of this wedge um, or waited for the candle to close with a stop below the wedge, um, and that would have been an awesome trade. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and let me know if you have any questions.